welcome back to the channel um, if there's a little bit of an echo please understand I am sitting in my lounge and yeah so I don't have any makeup on purely because um, I'm not wearing makeup today it's Sunday I just came back from a little bit of a shopping thing and uh, I did some homework stuff so I kind of figured that you guys would like to see that um, because quite a few people enjoy my homeware hauls and things like that. But this one is a homeware slash Christmas haul as well. It's actually quite windy outside, so if you hear a little bit of then you should know what it is. You should know what it is. Right next to me, right here, or all the way over here, is um, the stuff that I picked up. And on this side as well, it's a full length mirror, which I will give you a little bit of a close up shot on okay so we're gonna get started yeah it's, it's, it's a lot it's a lot so i popped into at home mr price home and i suppose a little bit of checkers but i literally picked up one thing from checkers that is home way everything else is pretty much like i'm a tissue i'm a all those things so the first thing out is from checkers easy easy peasy sort of a wicker basket or whatever you want to call them but this one I picked up for it was on special I think I picked it up for about a hundred hundred and fifty rand um, I want to put it <laughs> I want to put it somewhere in my lounge but I really like the the color it goes with the color scheme of um, downstairs lounge area blah 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 from Woolies um, in line with the Christmas theme, you're not going to be able to see these because it's too far away, but these are just some LED lights, which are stars. And I was thinking I'm gonna probably set these up somewhere next to the TV stand, sort of light those up at nighttime. And yeah, they are, what? It's a length of 3.9 meters. So they're quite long and it's stars, but obviously, as I said, I will do close-up shots so that you can see once I've set everything up. Okay. Now, if you have seen my latest vlog, I showed you a spot where I've got the big print and I was trying to decide what I'm going to do just below the big print in my bedroom. And the first thing that I picked up was from Mr. Price. Picked up from Mr. Price. This is pretty much like a, it's a, like a little chair type of setup um and in my bedroom i i really liked this one like the gold legs of course very very cute um but more especially these colors are typically colors of my bedroom linen uh we got the, the sort of like dusty pink we've got gray we've got white and they're kind of it's very muted colors which i liked um i like to keep it muted in my bedroom i don't like bright colors in my bedroom kind of Kind of, kind of sets me off the wrong way, I don't know. But I like to keep very nice, clean, subtle colors in my bedroom. And I figured that this would be a nice pop of color with the golden legs, but also at the same time, uh, it keeps it very subtle and clean for my bedroom. So I really, really like this one. A video of that to me at a later stage. Um, also from At Home. Also from at home, I got this basket and this little, what do they call it? They call it not applicable, I'm kidding. Handmade in Vietnam. It's a little bit of a basket, which I really like. This basket is going to sit right next to this chair from uh, Mr. Price home. And inside it, I've got towels, which actually match with this chair, which I'm sort of gonna drape over the basket like that. But I'll figure out a way and how to do it. I picked them up from Mr. Price home, these towels. Also, again, mauve very muted. They match quite well with this little tiny Ottoman-like chair thing. I don't know what people call these things. It matches quite well with that. So um, I'm going to figure out a way how to set it up nicely in the bedroom. So cool. Then down here, back to Mr. Price. We're going to go back to at home just now. Back to Mr. Price. I picked up um, these glass containers glass canisters, glass something. <laughs> I picked these ones up. Um, I told myself that in December I don't want to buy any beauty items and I'm not. 
as far as I know, I'm not going to buy any beauty items. So from Mr. Price Home, I got these little glass containers or glass holders or what have you. Um, the reason why I picked those up because I wanted to add these little flowers into them. I think it's pretty, pretty cool. I need to chop them up a little bit more, but I think it would look really, really nice. Uh, picked two of these glass containers up and about four of these types of flowers. It's about 50 bucks for one bouquet, almost bouquet, um, and 20 rands for this glass. So really not that bad. That's what I picked up. That's everything that's in here. I don't need to take it all out for you. I'm pretty sure you get the gist of it, right? Most of the things that I picked up for Christmas were from at home. Um, and, there, and I'm nervous about this plastic bag because there's a lot of glass in here and glass like baubles and things like that. So I need to be extra, 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 extra careful. Uh, but that's fine. So just to start it off, I'm not somebody who decorates a lot for Christmas and that's not going to change. I, I'm not the whole get a Christmas tree kind of thing. I think the one Christmas tree that I do have that you guys may have seen is a really small green one. It's a faux fake Christmas tree. I don't see myself putting that Christmas tree up this year. Um, I got a miniature, like literally, it's such a tiny wreath. And the reason why I got this particular one, there were so many other beautiful, more largely decorated ones and whatever. The reason why I picked up this one is because I wanted to sit on top of the table, um, the coffee table that's in the lounge. So then, decorated with other things on the side there which I'm going to show you but I really liked this one it's simple it's light it's, it was like a hundred bucks I think yeah 99 rand and um, I liked it so I picked that one up really really cute I like that and then everything else that's going to come out of here is glass <laughs> firstly we have um, this little ornament here it's an angel and it actually lights up so if you pull this thing here, but I'll show you, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it actually lights up. It is beautiful. And I feel like this is something that I can light up like in the evenings. Brings a very, very nice Christmasy thing. Let me just put them here because, okay, things could be crazy over here. Brings a really nice Christmasy theme to everything. Um, the next one is a bauble. So that's pretty much what that one looks like there. Really, really cute. Now. The deal with the baubles, especially if I'm not bringing out the Christmas tree uh, this year, I'm going to put the baubles in a container, a glass container, and then put them in the lounge somewhere. So it's going to be a couple of baubles in one glass container, and it's going to look really, really nice. I picked up the idea while I was at the store, so I thought it would look really, really pretty. Um, also out of the packet is... Also another glass ornament and this glass ornament is actually a little bird. So, so cute. I'll do uh, close-ups as I said. Um, and this one doesn't light up. It was like 50 bucks. Uh, it doesn't light up but it's glass. It's, it's got the whole feel. For me, I don't like the traditional Christmas colors around Christmas like the red and the green and the whatever other Christmas colors. I like to keep things very, very neutral which is nice but with a pop of Christmas and put them in this I'm gonna put them in this glass container here which pretty much has a little bit of glitter at the bottom there but I'm not complaining because I feel like it's gonna look exceptional so there we got that as well and coasters I found these beautiful coasters the one side is leather and then the other side is marble it, they are beautiful. I think they are absolutely beautiful. They go for about 250 um, And I don't know I at, Here at the house. There's a very wooden theme to the house. There's woods and whites Which is nice in the kitchen and in the lounge the biggest purchase of today is This This <laughs> This is the Nespresso's cities and milk um, uh, if you are somebody who has an espresso machine or you know a little bit about Nespresso, Nespresso machines, you know that there's three or four different types of Nespresso machines and they range in price-wise. Um, there's a little bit of a story behind this. Um, a couple of years ago, I think maybe two or three years ago, at home, like home, 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 where my parents are, 
uh, they bought like the bigger one, the really nice fancy Nespresso machine, right? And I was just like, meh, when I made a coffee with that and every time I would go home, I would make myself a coffee and what have you. And I was just so fascinated with the, with the machine and how it works and the capsules and this and this and that and the other. And I liked the different variations of the coffee, like a really strong one, like an espresso one, a t intense one, you know, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. And I thought, you know, because I like coffee, whether hot or cold, you guys know that I also make iced coffees here at home. One day I'm going to invest in an espresso machine. Uh, and I got it on special as well. I got lucky, it was like 20% off already and stuff like that. So I was like, cop, chop. Cop, cop. I'm copying it, I'm copying it, and I'm copying it right now. And this is my Christmas present to myself. I absolutely, absolutely, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'll set everything up so you can see my little Christmas decoration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.